<laughs> they said it couldn't be done. They said it was impossible. Oh, what happened? We got some dope news. Oh, we have our terrible Reggie Pizza Man! OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. OB1 plays? on everybody how are y'all doing let's get started with the news we have a couple a couple of banger dope news items the first one before we get started though you got to give the video a thumbs up like 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 all right bro they said it couldn't be done and now we know why ratchet and clank looks so beautiful Bro, um, Radeon's official Twitter, Radeon RX, that's AMD. This is what they've tweeted out. And I quote, we're proud that our groundbreaking RDNA 2 and Zen architecture helped enable incredible next-gen PS5 experiences like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart hashtag Ratchet PS5. Bro, everybody was saying the PS5 can't do RDNA 2. It's a baby console. It's not gonna be able to maximize that Zen architecture. And now we know why the game looks dope. Confirmed RDNA 2 groundbreaking rdna2 coming from the source and it shows it shows it shows this is one of the best looking games on the ps5 exclusive you can't get it anywhere else not on pc we're about to talk about that in a second philly boy not on ps4 it's not a cross gen made from the ground up for the ps5 Insomniac Games are the best developers out right now, bro. They, bro, between Miles Morales and that, don't, don't get me wrong, Housemark fire with that Returnal. But Insomniac, man, the magic that they be able to do over and over and over again, dope game. Can't wait. This game made me, I upgraded my TV. I'll do a full unboxing video when it comes in the mail uh sunday but bro ratchet and clank rift apart phenomenal game rdna2 amd said it straight from the horse's mouth zen architecture come on let's get to the now let's talk about the world's most powerful console <laughs> phil spencer with all his infinite wisdom he was interviewed by PC um, Gamer, and this is and he started throwing shots at Sony. He said that we're the only platform shipping games on PC day one, PC cloud and console at launch. And the title, the article says that Xbox reaffirms Microsoft commitment to PC with a shot at PlayStation's porting strategy saying that PlayStation does not launch their games on PC day one and I tweeted this out on Twitter shout out to Kaleem that's where I got the um, the Jedi mind trick from I said Phil out here trying to use Jedi mind tricks somebody gotta let him know the losers can't tell the winners what they should be doing bro what you think Sony's gonna start scrumming oh no Phil just said we need to put our games on PC day one what are we doing let's delay um Horizon Forbidden West let's delay um God of War even longer and let's put it on PC day come on bro they in the driver's seat they're still trying to sell consoles Philly boy yeah oh man I should have used for this video that Homer gif. You know when Homer is slowly backing away into the bush? That's what Xbox is doing right now. 
they're slowly getting out of the hardware market and they're bowing out grace of grace gracefully and misery loves company they're trying to break sony with them sony why don't you stop making consoles too and just put your games on pc so no one will buy your consoles sony's like we ain't about that life philly boy <laughs> I just thought this whole article was funny. Uh, how Phil Spencer is trying to say uh, Sony should be putting their games on PC at launch. Sony is... That, not that they've carved out their own lane. They didn't. They pushed everybody out the lane. Because let's keep it a buck. Nintendo's making home consoles. Sony mopped the floor, took their market share. Xbox making home consoles. Sony is mopping the floor, still taking market share, and they're kicking them out the home console market too. And so Sony just doing their thing right now, bro. Got to give credit where credit is due. We'll see. Um, Bethesda Xbox uh, presentation is coming up this weekend. I'll be live streaming it. Let's see what they be about, bro. Even though I'm not hyped for any Bethesda games, let's watch it. We might be surprised. All right, bro. This next news item is lit. Kena Bridge of Spirit presentation at the Tribeca Games Spotlight 2021. And they showed off new gameplay. They were talking to the developers. And the game is looking insane. Another Sony! Sony! What are you doing? Too many fire games. Not just too many games. Too many Game of the Year contenders, bro. Just beat Returnal. Platinum Returnal. I was pressured, bro. R trying to do that right before um, Ratchet and Clank. Now, Ratchet and Clank is amazing. I don't have time to play Final Fantasy VII Integrate, bro. I want to play that $20, the DLC portion. I'm still going to try to play that before this game comes out. And then Kino Bridge of Spirits comes out in August. It's going to be fantastic. This is all new gameplay. Kotaku just dropped an article and perfect description of the game. They say Kino Bridge of Spirits, because they got to preview hands on time with the game. And this is what they said. Kino Bridge of Spirits evokes God of War with a dose of Pikmin. He's, they combined God of War and Pikmin. They said this is what Kena Bridge of Spirits is. Can't wait for this game. For me, I, I'm just get I get Zelda vibes, bro. Zelda and Pikmin. And so Kena comes out in August. Dope, dope, dope stuff. Next news item, bro. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yesterday, I showed y'all the black one. Today, we're unboxing the red one. Let's do it real quick. Got my knife. See. Oh, I ripped the box. I'll be trying not to rip the boxes, bro. Fail. All right. Let's try to do this. Oh, I could just peel this part off. And we're going to unbox the controller, bro. Taking it out so y'all could see in real time the red. The red one is the one I really want. I got the black one, too, um, because it looked dope, too. All right. Now, the black one wouldn't come... This one came out of the box so much easier, bro. Man. All right, here we go. Taking it out for the first time. And we're going to put it to charge. Oh, my new favorite controller. Whoa, boy. Whoa, Nelly. Yep, the microscopic triangle X squared circle there on the back. But, bro. The buttons are what got me, bro. If you see it, the, the transparent buttons, dope, bro. Even on the D-pad, fire stuff, bro. We now have one, two. Oh, my son has the other ones. Oh, no, we got them all in here. Three. Hold on, hold on. Four. Hold on, hold on. Five, hold on, hold on, hold on. Six, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, the last one fell on the floor. I'm gonna go get it. I'm getting it. Oh, I'm gonna go get it. Uh, 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 got it. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Seven. 
We got seven DualSense controllers. I may have a problem. That's right. The red one is here. Let me put all these down. <laughs> oh, man. They're falling everywhere. But we are lit. That's it for this video. And so my primary two that I'll be using will be the black and red ones. Let's go get it. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.